welcome to Swamish Christian Fellowship. Please join us in our worship.
Christian Fellowship's online worship. Today is the last Saturday of July and we're going to another month. August is here, last month of summer and we will be going into the bear months. So I hope that you are finding ways to enjoy your summer. Go camping, go hiking, uh, go for a, a long trip and uh, just enjoy the sun because uh, weeks from now or or uh, months from now it will be dark again it will be cold again so i hope you are doing well and you're enjoying the sun let's pray lord as we continue to worship you this evening i pray that your words will be our life i pray god that you'll open our minds and our hearts as we listen to you and may this be life may you be our bread so that we will never get hungry and we will never get thirsty again may you fill us with, with eternal life may you fill us with true joy may you fill us with true satisfaction of life in jesus name amen and amen i remember when i was a kid i was i, I used to attend a uh, vcs vacation uh uh, children's school yeah vcs and all every summer we do it because you know there are snacks in in the church for the kids there are hoes that will prepare sopas uh champurado uh bilo bilo uh, ginataang mungo ginataang mais those are the common uh spaghetti those those are the common snacks that we have when when, when i was a kid attending a summer a Bible a camp or, or, or a vacation a church school. And it was fun. But as a kid, I was after the food. <laughs> I was after the food. And when I turned in, uh, into a teenager and I started attending 
a summer camp, a summer institute, and Christmas institute. I'm not after the words of God. I'm not after the church. I'm not after the the the, the, the message that I, I will be listening in, in the summer camp. But I'm after the people who I will meet. I met Maji there. I'm after Maji. <laughs> I'm after those things. But not the words of God. But God is good. God is awesome. God is gracious that I became a pastor. In uh, John chapter 6, so the, the verse, uh, the first uh, verses, it, it, it was the, it is a chapter wherein Jesus fed the 5,000. He, he, he feeds a lot of, of, of people and they were following him. The people started to follow Jesus more because God, Jesus made a miracle and, and God was able to feed all those people. So they were following Jesus, but Jesus was uh, setting a, a, a distance from them. So, but they kept on, on looking for Jesus. And in verse 25, they found Jesus on the other side of the lake and they asked them and then they asked Jesus rabbi when did you get here and in verse 26 Jesus answered very truly i tell you you are looking for me not because you saw signs that i performed but because you ate loaves and you and, and had your fill nabusog kayo you had you had the loaves you had the fish you ate and you were filled the people are following Jesus because of these things, because of their, their tummy. So Jesus said in verse 27, do not work for the food that spoils. The endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. And that is Jesus. For on Him, God the Father has placed his seal of, of approval. Now, now listen to this. So the people who, who are following him, when Jesus told them, Don't don't follow me because of because you had eight loaves and, and, and you were filled. But follow me because I am doing what the Father tasked me, sent me to do. And then in verse 20, they said, Then what must we do to the works God requires? In verse 29, Jesus said, The work of God is this, to believe in the one He has sent. So for us, our, uh, our part is to believe to the one that God has sent. And that is Jesus. For us to have that food that does not spoil, that food that leads into eternal life, our part is to believe to the one that God has sent. And who is that? And that is Jesus. So our part to have that eternal life, to have that food, Food that endures to eternal life, our part is to believe in Jesus as our Lord and our Savior. Because His task, His work, He was sent to give us food. Food for our eternity. Food for our life. For us to have that eternal life. And then in verse 30, they ask, What sign will you perform so that we will believe in you? Are you, is it better than what happened when when uh, Moses gave gave uh, manna, prayed for from the God and gave manna, and then God uh, fed uh, the Israelites? Remember when they were in journey to the Promised Land, God gave them manna and they were able to eat from the bread from uh, from the bread from heaven. But Jesus told them. Very true in, in verse 32, it is not Moses who has given you the bread from heaven, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is the bread that comes down from heaven and gives life for the world. So what happened in, in the time of the Israelites when Moses, was, Moses prayed to the Lord to give them 
bread so that the, the manna that, 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 that they can eat so they will not be hungry and they will not die is a shadow of what God the Father will do. What God will send. In our time, in in their in the disciples' time, in in Jesus' time, so that whoever eats that bread will not die, will not get hungry, but will have an eternal life. Jesus is the bread from heaven that God sent, and whoever eats in Him, whoever accepts Him, will have an eternal life. In verse 35, then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Jesus is the bread of life. Remember again, two Saturdays ago, the rich man, he was rich. He walked away sad. But before that, he asked God, he asked Jesus because he knows in his life that he is not complete. So he asked Jesus, how can I enter heaven? How can I enter eternal life? But he was sad because he was so rich and he cannot uh, uh, live, give up his possessions. To follow Jesus. Jesus is our bread of life. That when you have God, when you have Jesus, you will never get hungry and you will never get thirsty. You know, our security in this world is in, uh, in the food in our preach. You know what? In, in North America, it's weird. When uh, March and April, you know what's the thing that, that they uh, secured first? Tissue. <laughs> yeah. Remember, if you saw the, the videos on, on YouTube and Facebook, the people are fighting, people are running, people are falling into a very long lineup just to buy tissue paper <laughs> in the, for their washroom. And there was... Uh, people are buying lots of stacks of food because we are afraid. We bought six cabans of rice. Uh, six, 18 kilograms of rice. Why? Because we are afraid to get hungry. <laughs> we are afraid that we might run out of tissue paper. But not us. Because we have basil, we have ice cream cup, <laughs> we have yogurt cup, and you know what I'm talking about. But there are people, and sometimes us, that we put our security, that we put our joy in our possessions, that we put our joy, our happiness in our achievements in life. That we put our trust and focus in money. That you feel so secured if you have lots of money. That you feel so secured and so full and so complete if we have this richness of the world. But these things will pass. But these things will come into spoil there are expirations i purchased we purchased lots of uh, chocolates i was supposed to be uh, going to the philippines last march 12 for the annual conference but it was canceled everything was canceled and our chocolates got expired we don't eat chocolate that chocolate here that much there are expirations. Our life on here on earth, we get old. Our bodies got some pains. All these things get spoiled. All these things will be gone. 
it might last for a year or two or five or ten. We might reach 70 or 80, but we will all spoil. We will all come into our expiration. Even you eat a very good food today, you will still be hungry when you wake up tomorrow. Even you drink the finest wine, the finest beer, the finest drink, tomorrow you will be thirsty. That even we have the richness of this world, it is not enough. For all, for all we need, and we all need, is Jesus, our Lord. That He is the bread of life. He is the manna that came from God. That can come here on earth. That whoever believed in Him will have eternity, will have that eternal life. It's not bad to work. We are working hard. Maji got, has two jobs. I've got two jobs. It's not bad. It's not bad to dream. We are dreaming for a house. We're dreaming for, for better things. It's not, it's good, it's okay, it's perfect. But we don't put our security in it. We don't put our focus on it and leaving God behind and removing God. It's not bad to enjoy life. It is our second, uh, it is our first week in our long drive right now. We're enjoying it. It's not bad. In fact, it is good for our health, for our future, for our families. But God should be the center of everything. He is the bread of life. That when we come to Him, that when we partake from Him, that when we eat from Him, we will never get hungry. He is the water that when we believe in Him, we will not get thirsty. Brothers and sisters, in, in, in verse 40, for my Father's will, Jesus was talking, for my Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son, to Jesus, who looks to Jesus, and believe in Jesus shall have eternal life. And I will raise them up at the last day. It is the will of the Father that you and me will look into Jesus. We we'll look into Jesus as our Lord and Savior. We'll follow Him. We'll listen to Him. Because He is the bread of life. It is the Father's will, it is God's will that you and I will be saved and will have an eternal life. God wants it. But it is your choice and my choice. If we will accept it, if we will believe in Jesus, if we will eat from the bread of life, from the fountain of life. It is your decision. It is you who will decide. But here is the truth. It is God's will and God's desire because He is a gracious God and a merciful God and loving God. And He wants you and me to be part of His kingdom, to have an eternal life. Choose God. And when you choose God, you are choosing life. And when you are choosing God, you are choosing life to its fullest. We're not exempted of problems and challenges and tribulations, but God is always with us. Choose God. Choose life. Choose the bread of life. 
As we close tonight, oh God, may we eat the true bread of life. The bread of life that will give the true satisfaction in our lives. Not the joy, not the happiness that money can give, that the richness can give, that the achievements can give, that possessions can give. But give us the true bread of life. We are putting our trust in you. Because you are more than enough in our lives. So as we come to you tonight, O God, may you welcome us in your kingdom and may we partake in the bread of life. Brothers and sisters, as you go to your bed, as you welcome a new week, I pray that God is the center of everything. Start believing in Him. Start trusting Him. Start asking yourself, how can I grow in faith? How can I know God more? Because He is our true satisfaction. He is the true bread of life that will never, that we will never be hungry again. And we will never be thirsty again. As we welcome a new week of life, let us go and receive the benediction of God. He is the bread of life, so you may be filled. He is the fountain of life, so you will never be thirsty. Receive His grace and goodness and love. And receive the salvation of Christ as He died on the cross. He paid for our sins. Believed in Jesus. Accept Him as your Lord and Savior. And receive the power of the Holy Spirit as He guides us into a life that is pleasing to our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Thank you for joining us this evening at the Squamish Christian Fellowship's online worship. I hope that you will have a wonderful week. God bless you all. Amen and Amen.